Okay, so I'm gonna actually start over here. Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Boulder Bond. Welcome back to another studio vlog. I have missed you guys so, so much and I am so happy to be filming today. I have been in such a funk lately and I am ready to get out of it. I'm sure you guys can relate with all the stuff going on in the world. It has just been a lot to handle. I was a little self-indulgent, eating a little bit too much junk food and drinking a little bit too much wine. So I thought that this would be a good time to do a little self-care instead of self-indulging. I'm back taking care of myself instead of overindulging myself um, and making good decisions for my mind and my health. So I hope that you guys are too. I'd love to know down below what helps you get out of a funk. I know one of my major things is actually decluttering and organizing. And one of my favorite things to organize is my stickers. So we're actually going to do that today. I thought I would actually go through all of my stickers. I do have um, an old sticker um, paper that I used to use in my shop, which is a matte removable sticker paper. I no longer sell that, like um, only old sticker sheets. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna pull a lot of those and make mystery bags out out of them so that I can sell them in bulk for a lot better um, of a price for you guys. So I thought I would do that today, get them out of my inventory um, and clean up some of my storage. So let's turn you guys around. So I'm gonna actually start over here on this wall. Now all of these stickers are my half sheet stickers. So um, I have my um, larger monthly kits and my brand new collections over here. Um, I have um, all of the collections in this area that fit the vertical planners. Um, over here is all of my bullet journal stickers, um, the A5 stickers and cousin stickers. And then the last one over here is all of my larger functional sheets. Um, over here is just miscellaneous stickers, a lot of clear stickers, um, extra stickers, things like that. So that would probably like all go into the mystery bags. Um, I'm gonna start over in this section and just start pulling all of the old matte removable stickers and all of these bins that I can find. And if there's any old collections, um, we are getting um, rid of a lot of old artwork and designs that are not our own. I'm gonna pull those as well. So I have a feeling it is going to be a lot. So I might actually have a ton of mystery bags to fill. Look at this pile of stickers. These mystery bags are going to be jam packed. I'm not quite sure how many sheets I'm going to put in them, but there's like full sticker kits in here. So I'm definitely going to be keeping those guys together so somebody can get like full um, kits in their mystery bags, but oh my gosh. And I still have two more drawers to go through. I don't think that there's going to be that many in the drawers. Um, I do have some quarter sheets in there. I also have um, all of the Hobonichi Week stickers in there, but I don't think that there's going to be any Hobonichi Weeks because I started Hobonichi Weeks um, after I got my new vinyl paper. So yeah, I think I'm just going to skip that drawer and then just go right into the quarter sheet um, and then they'll be like a mix of these larger sheets, the quarter sheets, and maybe some like decals or extra little stickers in there as well. So let's go through that pile.
I just finished off going through all of the quarter sheet stickers. I didn't go through the ones on the right hand side because all of those are the foil stickers that I just came out with in the shop. So I already know that um, I didn't have to go through them. Now look at this stack of quarter sheets. So it may not seem a lot like compared to the half sheet here, but this is quite a bit. Um, a lot of these are actually still up in the shop. So I do need to to make sure that I take them down first before I put everything into mystery bags. Um, a lot of these also are of Bon Bon um, with lots of different hair colors and skin tones. So what I think I'm going to do is put these aside um, and maybe on the mystery bag link when you go to purchase it, I'll give you an option if you want brown skin or white skin and not any hair color because um, I don't offer a hair color choice anymore in the shop, so I just figured I would put in a couple of the bonbons in each one of the mystery bags, depending on the skin tone that you choose. But I'm gonna get on here and start taking down all of the listings that I pulled. Um, that way I can put them all in grab bags, and that way I won't sell something that I'm almost pretty much giving away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. Okay, so that's all done. So I'm gonna start packing the mystery bags. I actually have these craft um, bags with little polka dots on it. I thought that would give it a little extra touch for a mystery bag. And I am going to stuff these guys. So yeah, let's start. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, organizing my stickers and making these mystery bags. If you do want to know how to get um, some of these mystery bags, I'm going to be putting them up in the shop shortly. Um, I will be letting our newsletter people um, know first so they will know exactly when they go up. So if you guys want to join our newsletter, make sure you do that. I will leave the link to that down below. So thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!